my favorite. my parents bathroom so much but i have to get ready for an orthodontist appointment i'll sit down with you guys later and kind of catch you guys up hi you guys back in the old room i'm gonna show you guys in a little bit sorry i have a list Ugh, i kind of want to take it out but then again i don't so i'm not gonna i'm sorry i just went to the orthodontist to get my retainer adjusted because i came to new york back in march and i had to get it shipped to me and the reason i got this retainer is to fix two gaps that i have because my clear retainer lost its shape so long story short when they shipped it to me um it was fitted to my gaps not to fix them so i finally got to fix them today but i'm in new york and I am so happy to be here and back with my family. We just had a quick lunch too, but my mom has turned this room into like storage for real. So that's what all of that is. But yesterday was so long. Oh my god, I just realized I took my YouTube plate off of there, but I had to. <laughs> Well, we went to IHOP super early and then it took an hour and 40 minutes to drive to LA. Keep in mind, I live within a 50 mile radius of LA. Since it was like rush hour traffic for the morning um, and everyone's going to work, it literally took an hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, that was that. And then um, the first flight was to Utah. I did like a little montage. I was too shy to vlog in the airport. I don't know why, in the airport was so packed now i feel like since things have calmed down literally it felt sorry for the lighting i forgot that this window changes so much it used to trigger me so much when filming sorry i'm so not used to the holly routine but the first flight was to utah and it was pretty good but then when we got to utah i was supposed to just have like an instant board another plane and take off again and then the second they actually made people board so i was in the restroom when they did the initial first groups of boarding and one thing about me i love arriving to the airport when i don't have to wait so i'll literally wait for the line to go down and be the last person to get online even if i'm not the last group but i was the last group anyway long story short they made people go on the plane and then come back out they said it was because of weather but i think they were short staff so we had a two hour delay and then once we got on the plane it was like another hour of waiting so that was unexpected i was just so exhausted all day yesterday but I finally made it every time I have layovers I'm like never again and then I end up doing it again it saves money sometimes but sometimes it's not worth it but I'm finally here I'm happy to be here I don't want to talk too much because it's a fun-filled week ahead of vlogging so yeah today I just had that appointment and now we're just gonna chill my mom made me a home-cooked meal last night and again she's probably gonna cook today so I'm gonna go downstairs and hang out with her and yeah I'm so tired though I like feel so out of it my old ass sheet but guys this body pillow my mom knew i loved it it's so cozy i love it i think i'm gonna have to buy one. making a little lunch i have limited options because my teeth hurt so for my first night back with the family we wanted to get some seafood if you don't know i grew up on long island and it's actually surrounded by water i feel like a lot of people don't know a lot about long island but the cool thing is that i am pretty much 15 minutes from the beach and long island summers just hit different i had so many memories coming back here and always spending time with my family so we got a really nice dinner hi guys i haven't even brushed my hair so it's 8 a.m and i'm gonna think what to wear real quick i'm going to flushing new york which is actually where i was born um it's about 40 miles from here and my grandparents live over there my mom's parents um so we're gonna get dim sum i'm so exhausted i didn't really sleep that well but it's okay anything for my grandparents i haven't seen them so i'm just gonna get dressed do my hair i'm thinking just this shirt and shorts but definitely gonna pick up coffee on the way because much needed 
excited. Also, the past two days, I've literally just been chilling in the living room with my parents. Besides, you know, we went to dinner. But yeah, so I promise I'll spice up the vlog in a little bit. I want to go through like my old drawers and stuff. Here are my grandparents, my popo and kung kung, and we went to dim sum and blushing, one of my favorites. Fun fact, when I was little, I really didn't like Chinese food that much or dim sum that much, but as I'm getting older, I'm getting more back in touch with my roots, and this is my favorite chasu bao, and here are my cousins. We're all just laughing because we felt really awkward. We used to make American Grandma videos together. If you know, you know, but fun times. Look how pretty. I miss New York. I look at the baby. Yeah, it's a family day with my mom's side of the family. We're at our local outlet, just me and my brother. ready today picking up a bacon egg and cheese my fave in the world haven't had one yet since being home we're going to the city so it's only right look how good it looks yes so i tried to do my hair similar to how the hairstylist did it i definitely need practice but i use i'll show you what i use later it was like an in styler tool and she used a straightener and a brush with my mom <laughs> we're gonna go to the city right now and do some fun stuff so you guys will see so here's a little bit of the scenery on the way from Long Island to New York City and it's about a 40 minute to an hour drive when I was little. I thought this was the longest drive ever but since moving to California I'm always always driving so it doesn't feel that bad now but it is just so beautiful and I definitely appreciate the city a lot more. I can't believe it's been two years since I'm finally back. take pictures here we are in the city and we are going to beautify my mom she's already beautiful but extra beautify <laughs> <laughs> so here we are with Courtney Brown. She is a PA at Rothis Plastic Surgery and she also has another location that she works at. She is amazing. So here my mom is getting a natural peel. It is a facial that tightens the skin and makes it super glowy and it uses laser and this bamboo mask. And in a little bit you're going to see my mom got some Botox also to help with her hooded eyes. And yeah, you guys definitely need to go check out Courtney in New York City and get all of your services aesthetic and plastic surgery services done with her she is amazing and this process was so so cool to watch look at my mom's glowing glowing skin we are both obsessed Here is the tunnel that goes underground to go back into Long Island and I finished off with some delicious Colombian food. Good morning. We're going on a family road trip to Montauk, which is by the Hampton. And yeah, my mom woke us up at like 8. It's now 10. Actually, she woke us up at like 8.45, but it's now 10. And yeah, I thought I would be able to like do my makeup and I just cannot. I'm so tired. I haven't been sleeping good here I think because the time difference. I just wanted to see if I could take pictures while there because you know it's really pretty but if not it's not a big deal because I have like so many pictures anyways. I'm gonna just take little clips and probably do a montage. I know I've probably been doing that all video but and I want a bagel and I still haven't got New York pizza crazy but yesterday um me and my parents just went shopping we went to BJ's we went to Target to get Monopoly. Oh I think we forgot the Monopoly game oh well. So it was about a two hour drive to get here and we went straight to the beach. It was so, so amazing. It brought back so many memories. We used to have like a beach blast that we would go to as a family 
and just Long Island summers if you know you know or New York summers in general especially the excitement you know it's only hot three months of the year so it felt really really nice to spend time with my family some good quality time and by the way the times that I wasn't vlogging um, I was just literally chilling in the house spending good old quality time with my parents and my brother but we went to this famous restaurant called lunch and the lobster roll was delicious and I had to get a Shirley Temple because I feel like I forgot about them until I saw it on the menu but here is the Montauk Lighthouse tell you guys I'm devouring this it is close to dinner but I had to get this because I can't believe I ha haven't gotten it yet like who am I the Dunkin Donuts napkin super fitting so this was our last night my mom made salt and pepper shrimp which was per my request it's one of my favorites and we had a family game night of Monopoly which I definitely got fed up of and my mom won but granted she was the birthday girl we celebrated her birthday a little bit early as well I got a bagel the morning of my flight and said goodbye to my room next time I'll definitely do like another going through my drawers and stuff like that but then the six hour flight home and I really hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of a glimpse of me going back home and a little bit of my hometown and where I grew up let me know if if you want a more in-depth one next time I go but thank you guys so much for watching I love you all and I'll see you guys next time bye everyone